This morning, our discussions will center on customer service. The fact that there have been several complaints that customer service in Ghana leaves much to be desired. There have been a latest report that reveals that bad customer service has made customers to accept mediocrity in the service delivery. Is there a time coming where customer service in Ghana will be the best? This is Daily Rant. Let's keep talking. Uh, I've had experiences where you walk into a shop and little things like, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the store. It's non-existent. And when you um, have a need to ask for a service, hey, how much is the price of this? Or where can I find this? It's almost as if you literally have to beg people to get stuff done, right? Um, it's It goes against, I'm a business person myself also, right? And uh, nine times out of 10, I ask myself, how do the owners of these businesses feel like, are they there? Do they see these things happening? Because I'll fire you if you work for me. Like, literally, like, I'll, <laughs> like you're not you're not seeing tomorrow if you treat customers <laughs> like that. Uh, it, it's, it's simple. I don't care. Like, it's not my business. I'm working for someone. So, obviously. And that's why I'll fire you. Okay. Right? Because you, you're not caring. And, and, and I, I think it's a domino effect. That has nothing to do with this. But it's a domino effect. And it has an effect on how the quality of our lives and how much financial you know, prosperity and success that we have as individuals, right? It, it's a mindset thing. I think it's bad. I think we need to do something about it. And even at restaurants, right? Like, I'd go with my husband, and it's like, he gets better service than I do. Because There's really? Because I'm a woman, and it's a woman that's serving me, that's serving the both of us, right? So she'll bring, like, so for example, went to this place, and she brought us our food, and there's a lid on it, and she takes his off, and leaves mine on and walks off. And so I'm looking at her, I'm like, huh. You see, the problem is, we, we see it as, oh, you are a woman, you have to serve your husband. If, if you're on a table and then there is food in front of you, if you are not removing the lid out for your husband, I mean, she has to do it for your husband. I'm at a restaurant, you're serving us collectively. So it's like, that's what I'm paying you for. So why is it that you take his off? He didn't ask you to. You took it off and walked off, right? And then at the end of our dinner, I asked her for the, for the check. I said, hey, can you, bring us, can you bring me the bill? She brings it and hands it to him. And I'm like, I asked you for the bill, not him. What makes you think that I'm not the one paying for our dinner? Because I'm the one, why would I ask you for the bill? If he wanted to pay, he'll ask you, hey, can you bring, can you bring it? But all of a sudden you just assume, first of all, I get horrible service because he, like we're at the same restaurant, we have the same server and he has amazing service. He'll ask for like things like ketchup, or syrup, and she'll quickly go and bring it back. I ask for one thing, and she's gone for 30 minutes. She's gone for 30 minutes, and then she comes back, and she just leaves it on the table. She doesn't communicate with me. So it's like, I've had like experiences like that where it's like, it's from w more so women than like men. Like, Tell me why you won't fire such receptions or waitress if that company were to be yours. Well, it depends on how the communication started. For instance, if she was just throwing her hands like, hey, can I get this or that? Okay. Let me ask her, what, what, is that, was that how you do Absolutely not. So I, am, I, I will never disrespect anybody, regardless of if you are my server. You are a human being, and I'm going to respect you because you're a human being. So I, ex I, I expect that back, right? So it's, it's simple things like, I wasn't being snobbish at all. That is so out of my character, right? So I just, simple things like, hey, can, um, or my food is cold. Can you um, go and heat it up for me in the back, please? Or can I, can I have syrup for my pancakes? Simple things like that because there, you served me, but I don't have everything at my table. So I'm going to ask you for it. I'm not working there. I'm here to pay you for your service, right? So your, you, your job description is to serve me, right? So you have to, exactly. So it's like, I'm not being rude to you. And not only that, I tip you. I will tip you based off of the service you give me, right? So I'm not just there to come and eat, pay for my food and leave. I'm there because I want an experience, right? I'm interacting with you. You're my server. You're my waitress. So it's like, if you give me good service, based off of that, I am going to tip you at the end of the day. But don't look at me because, oh, I'm with a guy, so you just assume that. What's your accent on? 
I mean, I don't know what that means. Like, <laughs> I was, I, I, t- I speak normally. Sometimes I try to have it like a Ghanaian accent because I don't want it to be like, oh, you look at me differently because you think that like I'm from somewhere else. So, you know, so sometimes I try to like, kind of like mask it, but I mean, it's, you can tell. I feel like here people, as soon as they see you, they yeah. already know that like you're not from here. It's because of some of the people who have come here and they have been disrespectful to a lot of people. They feel like, oh, you're not my level. So therefore, I should be, I mean, getting a lot of respect from you than, than showing you like as if we are equals. So immediately you show your accent, then they go like, oh, and that kind of thing. So immediately they feel like they are angry before they are even going to give you the service. I'm a CEO. I own two companies. Um, I make good money, right, to where I'm not by any way, shape, or form a vagabond. I, I'm a contributing member of society, both here and out there. So to assume automatically that just because I have tattoos on or just because I'm wearing sweatpants, I'm tatted, uh, I mean, uh, I'm pierced, means you give me bad service. It's just, to me, it's the most primitive way of thinking. So I remember I, I was at an apartment here at um, um, Northridge, Service was virtually non-existent. They would not let us in because of the type of car we're driving. <laughs> because it was not yet, yeah, it was not big enough for them. Um, um, and, and, and I had to literally like I, I call people out on stuff like that. So I call the security out. I'm like, oh, so you not let us in because our car is not big enough? And it's like, oh no, 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 you guys were parked on the wrong side, right? We get in there, and the lady literally will not even let us in. Uh, when we wanted to take a look at the units. The first thing she said was, well, the units are not available. You have to come back on Monday. Well, is there a model unit I can take a look at? Oh, um, no. Um, it's $3,000 a month. I don't care. <laughs> I just want to look at the unit. Um, it's not your concern whether or not I can afford it. That's not for you to worry about. That's for me to worry about, right? So they judge you based off of your looks. Uh, I'm not suited up. I'm not in a tie. I'm not in a... Not were, you, were you in tank tops? What, what uh, tattoos yeah. revealing? Yes. Yes, okay. I was in the tank top. I had my tattoos revealed. Uh, <laughs> I think you want to get other, other prayer. Yeah, I mean, like, so with situations like this, it was like we just came from the gym. We didn't want to drive all the way home and then go back out. The place is on the way, so why not stop by and check it out and then be on our way, like, see what it's about. So it's like, but here people are so superficial where it's like, you know, like, you don't, it's like you're, you're, the person that's there at the desk, we can pay your salary for like years, but you're treating us as if like, oh, like who are you? And But it's like, you don't own this apartment. You're just working here. So how are you here? Like, you're not the owner. You're driving business away, one. And it's like, we didn't ask you for the, like the way she came off, it was like standoffish, like, oh, who are you guys, like, you know? And I had asked to use the restroom. I asked her, I said, hey, like, can I use your restroom? And she goes, yeah, it's out there in the back. Mm -hmm. And I look at her, I'm like, you don't have a restroom inside here that guests can use? And she goes, no, it's in the back. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, maybe it's like a different layout. So we walk out and we walk all the way to the back where she directed us and it's the service. Like, it's like a bathroom for, like, peop- like the guys, the security guards and employees. I get it, I get it. And so we look at each other, and I'm like, is she, did she seriously just send us to, like, the service bathroom? And so we walk in, or we walked up, and then we saw the security guard, and we asked him. And so he was confused that she had sent us there, but he tried to, like, cover it up exactly. as if, like, oh, yeah, 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 that's, 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 that's the bathroom. But it's like, we can see right through that. Mm-hmm. It, that's not where you're going to send guests or people or prospects who are looking to um, rent the unit or buy the unit, right? And so it was like, just off the bat, based on how we looked, um, she just, and she's an employee, she's not the owner, and she's treating us that way. So it's like, you think about it and you're just like, okay, first of all, if I couldn't afford to live here, why did I make the drive here? The thing is, uh, right next to us was a dude in like a Land Cruiser uh, with his driver, and oh my God, they were bending over backwards for him. Literally, like, like, like taking good care of him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Opening doors and everything. And I'm like, whoa, really? All these things don't matter, man. At the end of the day, we're going to die. We're going to leave all this behind us. Um, the most important thing is that you're comfortable, you're happy with your life. And I strive for happiness, right? But the fact that 
the level of service that I get when I step out of the house is contingent on how I look mm -hmm. you know, baffles me. I mean, let's put this in context. Mm. They were from the gym. But they were not tatted. Yes, you know, they might be sweating and all that, but... You see, you see, the thing is, they are from the gym. They are not in the official clothes and all of that. Now, no, no. Is that is that an official apartment hunting clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, I want to know no, no, if there's no, one, no, I didn't no, get the memo. No, 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 <laughs> you didn't copy him then. <laughs> you didn't copy him the memo. I, mean. I, I didn't get that email. <laughs> no, no, no. The thing is, I mean, you copy him the memo. <laughs> I understand that we judge pair appearance. Yeah, Looking at the way they were from the gym, the person might even feel like, can't they even afford what they are going to ask? Is it your place? Is it your place? as an employee of this building, let, let me drink this is, it, <laughs> is it your place? I mean, let me ask you a question, right? If I came, I came and you have, you, you've set up a business and you, you don't have any employees that you, the owner, are in that building, right? And I show up and I ask, and I'm, I'm, inqu I'm inquiring about your, the, the units. How, how will you, I just came from the gym. I didn't have time to go home to put on my apartment hunting suit. So I just showed up and you're, you're the owner and you're there. How, what, what type of treatment would you give me? I'm in my sweatpants, my like big t-shirt and I showed up. Okay, yeah. you, know, you know, the thing is, um, it, it is. Answer that question, right? Let me add one to it. Keep that question, remember that question. And then again, imagine that you are the owner of this place, okay? And you come to find out, and you, now you know us, and you know we can more than afford that place. Yeah, exactly. How would you feel that your employee drove us away? Okay. You're going to sack you, right? Oh, we definitely, I'm going to do that. These are places where big men, they do come in. Can, can we say, can we say, can we say, can we say there's no explanation to this? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think. Uh, are you defending this? Are you really de defending this? You see, the thing is, um, it's not like I'm defending the kind of attitude or the kind of reception. I've already said that it is not everywhere you go in Ghana that you get that. I mean, it is not, don't let's sort of generalize the whole thing as if Ghanaians, when you go asking for one or two things, you are just being snubbed here and there. No, it doesn't happen everywhere you go. I mean, I, I, I don't... a lot more than it doesn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. It happens a lot. So when, when something happens a lot more than it doesn't, then it's the norm. Yeah. I'm sure there's more to talk about if I leave you guys. But if you're watching and you have any experience regarding bad customer service, you can share that with us on our social media platforms. On Facebook, it's TV3 Ghana. And on Twitter, it's our new TV3. Thanks for watching and have a good morning.